Greetings friends, this is the third part of the Thermal Express Fashion Guide on version 116.5 expansion for the mechanism for ease of understanding, we will divide the expansion into three groups, basic or components, additional and creative, which cannot be obtained in the usual way. The main extensions or integral components are of three types, and they improve the characteristics of the mechanism. For example, if you look at reinforced integral components, you will see a scale factor of 2x, that is, your mechanism will work twice as fast, if these are reinforced components, then three times, and if resonating, then as much as four. For the purity of the experiment, I prepared the doors of the Stahn stoves. There is no extension in them now. We will simply overcook the gold ore from the first stove, and in this stove we will put the latest component, the resonating one and also begin to overcook our ore. Pay attention to the speed at which it is overcooked here and at what speed here. The speed is noticeably higher. We can also say that we have increased the capacity of our mechanism, now we have as much as 200,000 RF of energy, and initially you had 50. I noticed that if you put a higher level component, then the components do not stack. Please note, now we have 200,000 RF energy capacity. We remove these two components and it remains the same. That is, if you have installed three components, the most recent one will be used. Let's take a look at the crafting of these components. The first reinforced one is made with the help of four Invar ingots, any two glasses, two rest and dusts and a golden gear. The reinforced integral component is crafted, respectively, from four electronic ingots, two pinion gears, two non-quartz and the previous component, reinforced. And the resonating component, in turn, is crafted with the help of four interium ingots, two reinforced glasses, two lumen gears and the previous component, that is, reinforced. We can say that these integral components only improve the capacity of your mechanism and, in general, the speed of its operation, making it faster. I also want to note that integral components are inserted not only into mechanisms, but also into the energy cell and generators. For example, with this expansion, the energy cell has a capacity of 4 million and can give and receive energy for 4000 RF units per tick. If we remove, then the capacity is correspondingly reduced to 1 million and up to 1000 units of RF tick reception and transmission. And by inserting this generator component, we will increase the amount of RF energy that the tick produces. For example, now 160, and without it 40, that is, for times everything is as it is written here. Knowledge Hub. Here's his craft. Four pieces of gold and a discerning crystal. And actually this crystal is being crafted with the help of two emeralds, two lapis lazuli, a poor bubble of experience. This extension, when installed, allows the mechanism to accumulate experience. I threw out the experience next to this mechanism, but unfortunately, he did not download it into himself. I believe that this extension is better used in a battery that collects things for itself, and with this extension it will collect more experience. Let's check it out. We break the bubbles and they begin to be absorbed, instantly finding themselves in this mechanism. And here we show how much experience you have collected. To pick it up, press the right mouse button and it is reset to zero. The next expansion is an extended RF coil, a stabilized RF coil and a multi-threaded RF coil. With these extensions, you will be able to increase the amount of RF energy that your mechanism can contain and also increase the transmission efficiency by the number of times that is shown here. 4 times, 2 or 6. These extensions can be safely installed in conventional mechanisms that have such an energy buffer and an energy cell. For example, now we have a maximum capacity of 1 million, with this expansion, we should have 4 million and the reception and return will increase to 4000. An interesting fact is that if we establish a resonating integral component, then we will multiply these values to store the RF 4x and, accordingly, the scale factor 4x, that is, 16. And our mechanism can already contain 16 million wrap energy and, accordingly, give or receive 16,000. That is, these coefficients are multiplied. Accordingly, here we will have 6 million and will increase to 2000. So, up to 2006 million. Well, here we have up to 2 million capacity and up to 6000 transmission. That's right. If you decide to cheat, then when installing three of these extensions at once, 
you will use the maximum, that is, how many do we have here? Among all these stored RF energy, we have a maximum of 6x, and for transmission, respectively, also 6x. That is, we will have 6 million and 6,000 receiving and giving. There are 6 million and 6,000 for reception and return. And their recipes are as follows. Extended RF coil. Accordingly, you will need two silver bars, two gold bars and a red flow coil. For a multi-threaded RF coil, you will need three silver ingots, a red streaming coil and a gold ingot. For a stabilized jerk coil, three gold bars, one silver and a red flow coil. And these extensions can only be put in mechanisms that can contain RF energy, you will not put them in generators. The next expansion is an expanded tank design. That's his recipe. You will need four iron ingots, four vulcanized rubbers and reinforced glass. This extension can be installed by any mechanism that has a liquid tank. For example, we install it here and it says X4. The capacity of this mechanism increases four times. That is, the maximum was 4000 millbakets, they are 16, so I removed four here. The subject filter extension allows you to limit the passage of subjects, as it is written here. It is best to show how this extension works using our example in the battery. We install this extension of the court and we have a subject filter tab like this, where we can configure items. Let's take some blocks, charcoal and a block of gunpowder. Let's throw a block of charcoal here and choose that it is a permissive sheet. That is, only a block of charcoal can get here, nothing else. There is also an NBC setup button here. And in theory, if I throw out the powder block now, it will not be pumped into the battery. Yes, it is not uploaded, it is empty. But if I throw out a block of charcoal, it will be pumped. Suede. That's fine. That's how the subject filter works. And the recipe for this extension is the following four pieces of tin and a signal ingot. The next two extensions are streaming efficiency and magnetic coupling amplifier. This extension can only be installed in mechanisms that consume RF energy, for example, our stove. Streaming efficiency. Let's set the streaming efficiency. With this expansion, our mechanism begins to consume less RF energy, but the speed of this mechanism suffers, it will be slower. Magnetic communication amplifier We will install a magnetic communication amplifier. It will allow you to process resources quickly, but increases RF energy consumption twice. That is, we had 20, and it became 40. One of the positive aspects is that you can use these two extensions at once, respectively, partially compensate for their shortcomings. You can also use these two extensions together with integral components, noticeably speeding up your mechanism, making it very fast, but voracious. And their recipes are as follows. Magnetic communication amplifier. To craft it, you will need an electronic plate of two pieces, two lead gears and a red flow coil. For streaming efficiency, you will need two aluminum plates, two nickel gears and a red streaming coil. The next two extensions are an auxiliary sieve and a Catholic reclamation chamber. An auxiliary sieve increases the chance of a secondary product by 15% on the example of a shredder. He has a chance of some recipes that you will get an additional item. So, the secondary sieve increases this probability, that is, to these 20% we will have an additional 15. Those 15% are added not just to the chance, but also to an additional chance. That is, you will receive more resources. Catalytic Reclamation Chamber By installing this extension, you will be able to use your catalyst more efficiently. Using the example of a shredder, we have flint and basalt powder. It will be destroyed and consumed more slowly. But you will suffer from the speed and power consumption of your mechanism. You can put the same two extensions several times, choosing the right combination for yourself. And their recipes are as follows, an auxiliary sieve, you will need two invar plates, two bronze gears and a red servo motor. For a catalytic reclamation chamber, you will need two lead plates, two constant gears and a red servo motor. Cyclic processing. 
This extension will allow you to reuse the received resource if it has the corresponding crab. For example, frying a cobblestone, you get a stone. Then the same stone can be fried in the oven and get a smooth stone already. I don't know why, but I couldn't do it to install this extension. Right now, in theory, we should have a stone and it should move to this slot, but this does not happen. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you know how this extension works, then please tell me. Two signal gears and a red servo motor. I would be very grateful if you could tell me how this extension works correctly. The next expansion is an auxiliary reaction chamber and multicycle injectors. This extension is installed only in the generator. Auxiliary reaction chamber. Increase the speed of energy generation, but reduces efficiency. Let's check this with the Stirling generator. In the first one, we will install just this extension, and in the second one, we will throw one coal into each. Pay attention, it produces 80 RF of energy per tick, and here we have nothing, as it produced 40, so it produces. Let's wait until they work out. Please note that the first generator has already produced the required amount of energy and has given it away, and the second generator without expansion is still only working. Both generators have worked. The first one with expansion produced 21,600 RF of energy, but very quickly. The second produced 24,000, but much slower. That's how this extension works. You will produce RF energy faster, but the fuel will be less efficient. Multicycle injectors. This extension has no negative effects. By installing it, your fuel will be generated at the same rate, but it will simply be 10% more efficient. You can also install several such extensions by making your own personal combination or removing one of them and putting a resonating integral component, greatly increasing the efficiency. Multicycle nozzles have the following crafting. Two aluminum plates, two lead gears and reinforced glass. And the auxiliary reaction chamber has two signal plates, two silver gears and also reinforced glass or its analogs. The last extension you can get honestly is a radial improvement. It will increase the range of your mechanism, in our case it is in the battery. I have not found where to insert this extension anymore. It's just that you will expand the scope of this mechanism. Now I will throw out the same extensions and, in theory, they will be pumped into the battery. And the recipes for these improvements are as follows. Two tin ingots, two iron gears and a red servo motor. We have four creative extensions left. You will not be able to get them in an honest way, only by taking them from the creative. They have no negative aspects and they greatly improve the mechanisms. For example, there is a creative RF coil for this group increasing the parameters of RF energy storage and transmission 16 times. We also have a creative tank design that will increase the tank capacity up to 16 times. Creative streaming efficiency makes your mechanism very cheating, it will not consume RF energy, it will work very fast. And a creative myriad of camera. With this extension, no catalysts will be used. That is, you will not need to throw flint and basalt powder and analogs of other mechanisms to get an additional item. We also have a security alarm lock like this. It's not like an extension, but I decided to include it in this group. Here is his recipe, a signal ingot and six pieces of iron. This lock does not insert the mechanism as an extension. It is taken in the hand, pinching the stitched and with the right mouse click you click on the mechanism. Now this block belongs to you, only you will be able to interact with it. And here you can configure its privacy. Accordingly, it will be available only to you if it is private, public to everyone, only for friends for sure, which is registered in your region or team, those who are in a group with you. And Endurka was with you, I hope this guide was useful to you and you learned something. Thanks, bye.